Hi guys, so I realise the thumbnail probably makes it look like I'm reviewing a single brush, which is madness. Um, how can you do a whole video about a single brush? But no, this is a stacking brush. In particular, this is the Seati 4-in-1 Multi Brush. It is cruelty free, so it's synthetic fibres, and it is £22. I bought mine on ASOS because I am a huge ASOS addict, and yeah. So as you can see it's got this clear handle so that you can kind of see which brush you're looking for. The topmost brush is a blending brush and it's actually hidden inside the ferrule for the blusher but there is a little window so you can still see it. So yeah, it's a cute brush, it's nice and compact, it's a little bit pricey but you're getting four brushes out of it which makes it straight back down into budget territory from my perspective anyway. So I used this for as much as I could of my makeup today and let's see how that went. Right, so let's get started. So obviously we need to take the fluffy powder brush off. It doesn't definitely does not restack with the rest of them because it's the biggest and fluffiest and it wouldn't fit inside the rest of them. So next we have the crease brush, which is what I want next, so let's just go with that. Um, I'm just grabbing my Sample Beauty palette that I that I selected. Um, I've got a video on this if anyone's curious. We're going to go into this shade, which might be seaweed. Um, it's just a gorgeous dark green. Anyway, so let's zoom in a little bit. I've got my NYX primer on and my Makeup Obsession Pearl Eyeshadow on the brow bone already. So, oh this is such a smaller brush than I'm used to, see what we're going to do, Ooh, why does that look so crusty, not what I've done with this, I've got a crusty bit on my eye that I hadn't noticed, no, well, hopefully we will blend it away with this brush, so, yeah, I'm used to a bit of a looser, fluffier crease brush. Especially because I've got a slightly hooded eye shape, I find that a bigger, fluffier brush is my friend. Um, it will, you know, extend above my crease with less work. I'm going to try just putting the colour further up the side of this brush, which is the other trick as a hooded eye person. So if you put the colour further up the side and you press down, you obviously get a greater kind of range of where the colour is deposited. Now this is leaving me quite a definite shape. Um, and then, you know what, I'm going to quickly do the other eye before I clean the brush off and try and blend the edges. That's That would be smart. Um, how lovely is this colour? I know I... I know this isn't a review of the palette, I've done that already and I, I can tell you that I raved about this colour in that as well. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Anyway. Now the problem with wanting a fluffier brush in situations like this with the stackable brush is it wouldn't easily fit inside the stack. So. That's always a bit of a bummer. So again, making sure that I get the colour up the side of the brush so that I can get that better range of where I'm depositing the colour. Right. Okay. So gonna clean off the brush slightly and then hopefully we can get those edges. Okay. Still very curious about this crusty patch by the way. A tiny bit on the brush just because I think we're a bit higher in the inner corner on the oh, oh sorry the center of the eye going into the inner corner on this eye. Let's 
to we're gonna balance it out adding more that's more like it okay let me done with our blending friend so yeah that's right uh-huh okay so the the flat brush is on a base, so you can't actually stack that back up. Um, so that I'm going to have to use as its little tiny dinky self. Um, I'm going to go into the shimmery green that I do not remember the name of, um, but there was only about two shimmers in this range so far. So if you're looking for it, you'll find it, basically. So... It is quite a small brush, but again, that does kind of come with stacking things. Um, although I don't know if I would have minded if the whole thing had been a teeny bit bigger. Um, just get a slightly bigger, fluffier, blendy brush and a slightly bigger eye brush. But they've they've done a nice job so far. Um, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't look at this eyelid and be like, oh, that person just used some like you know, in case of emergency, stackable brushes kind of thing. You know. But it's just taking a little bit more time because this covers such a small amount of my lid space. And while smaller brushes are great if you want to do like a rainbow eye and fit loads of different colours in, I don't associate kind of travel-y stacking kits like this with times that you're going to want to do, you know, elaborate, lots of colour placement looks. If anybody else does, then sorry, but from, from my perspective, a kit like this, I'd be... I don't know, it would be kind of, say I was out at the gym or something and I was going out afterwards and I just wanted to throw a little bit of something on, um, I think that would be more my um, use of this sort of kit. No, this is awkward. Um, okay, it looks like you can't change the order at all. Which is a pest if you ever lose any of the components, which I won't, but you know, could happen. Um, but yeah, the only the only fit back on beside their designated friend. Hmm. Okay. So the last stacking brush kit I had, it was just like a push on and off situation. It was much cheaper. It was pre mark but I did like that you could change the order um, because some things I don't like working with little small short handles um, so the next brush we've got is the angle brush I do my brows after foundation so actually the next brush is going to end up being the powder brush so I'm going to go and do my foundation and concealer off camera and we'll be back to try the last two from the set Right, so we're back. We've got foundation, concealer, all that jazz, if you couldn't guess already from the complete blank canvas that my face has became. Um, so I'm going to quickly grab my under eye setting powder. Um, this is a Revolution one that doesn't have the name on it, um, but it is a brightening under eye powder. And it's actually running low, so this brush is easier to get into it than my, my bigger fluffier powder brush. Okay, so it's a nice soft brush, which I'm glad about because Siati isn't the cheapest. If it had been a hard, stabby brush, I'd have been a little bit miffed. And I'm gonna grab my RCMA powder and I just tip this out on top of you know, on top of the palette, the compact for that pressed powder. Um, I do have a compact thing coming from Amazon with like a sifter that I'm going to transfer some of that into because I think it'll be easier. So, 
Let's go. So I always quite heavily powder my nose. It seems to disrupt my foundation less if I have a lot of powder on the brush. And I go and tap it in. Um, if I can dust any away later. Okay, so yeah, definitely taking me a bit longer, possibly twice as long as it normally takes me to do my powder. Do, 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 do. Now we have the forehead acreage to do. I do feel like I've used less powder though. That's interesting. Um, okay, I'm just going to try my blush with this as well. Normally I do my contour first, but whatever. I don't want to cut on and off camera like a million times. So, unfortunately this is a discontinued blush. It is Bittersweet from Urban Decay. But I've been wearing that almost constantly since I dyed my hair purple. So. Okay, yeah, so I like this as a blusher brush. It's a nice size. It is quite loosely, you know, loosely packed bristles. It's not very dense. Um, so it does a nice soft application. And then I'm just flipping to the other side to blend that out a little bit more. Okay. Right, so let's go for the angled brush and I'm going to do it my brows and then I'm going to go and finish my makeup and then come back and summarise. So I'm actually using an eyeliner at the moment. Um, this is the Ofra Thix Line Eyeliner in Killer Queen. Um, it's just a good colour for my hair. To be honest, I didn't like it as an eyeliner. It, it was a bit watery and I don't know. But it worked great as a brow colour, so it's all worked out happily ever after. So this brush is a little bit thicker than what I'm used to. That's you know, fine so far. We'll see what happens when we get to like the tail end of my brow. Still, yeah, I can still get the tail in about as fine as usual. And, you know, with the fact that this is a little bit thicker, it's a little bit quicker. Thicker and quicker. Um, oopsie, that was me not concentrating. And I need to pluck my brows tonight. So other than that blob, there we go, that's better. Okay, so that's fine. Um, if you were carrying this more as like a touch up rather than you know a full application brush you obviously wouldn't be I don't expect you'd be doing your brows again um, but angled brushes can actually be quite good for lips if you wanted a more precise lip line from a liquid lip or traditional lipstick you could use that as a lip brush so I'm going to go and quickly finish my liner, mascara, all that jazz 
and out the back with my, my faults gathered. Right, so I'm back and I'm, I'm loving my makeup today. Anyway, so this brush, it is £22 and you're getting four brushes. All the brushes feel really good quality, so from that perspective, value for money. For what I want from a kind of portable, on-the-go option, I really, really, I know I've said already, I really wish you could change the order of these. Because the difference to me between wanting a stackable brush and just buying a mini set is the advantage of having a full length handle. Um, because you've got better control, it's easier to blend when you're far up a brush. That being said, they have prioritised with the powder brush as the longest, the blending brush as the second longest. So they have tried to give you as much handle length as they can for the brushes where you're going to be doing most kind of blending. Um, so, you know, it, it seems that they have thought this through. It's just my preference. That I don't like holding little things like this. This kind of isn't my isn't my jam. So overall though I'm still going to put this into the goodbye category. Like I said, you're getting four really nice quality brushes for £22. Um, I will still you know keep it in my bag as long as I have some kind of makeup bag going on in my handbag because I think leaving this you know lying loose um it might get a little bit battered up. So yeah Overall, very glad that I bought this and I do see myself using it again. So if you've got any questions or any requests, if you've seen any other kind of multifunction brushes you think I should try, pop that down below and I will get back to you and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.